Hey guys, welcome back to Blocks Viral. Before we start, I want to give a huge shout out to Santa Amadi. Thanks so much for watching our videos and supporting our channel. Today, we're going to be talking about Flamingo in a hate game about him that was made on Roblox. But before we start with today's video, I want all of you to hit that red subscribe button as well as the notification bell, that way you never miss out on a single video from us in the future. As you probably know, Flamingo is one of the most popular Roblox YouTuber. Being so popular, he obviously gets quite a lot of hate, like every other content creator. However, some people just go too far with their hate. Why? Well, let's find out. Recently, Flamingo published a video in which he played various games, but one of them was really crazy. The game that Flamingo decided to play is called No Flamingo Fans Allowed, and it was made by Darky underscore Blocks just a few months ago. Now, the title of today's video says the game is supposedly very popular. I mean, it is just another Flamingo hate game that doesn't seem to be standing out, right? Not quite. The Flamingo War. Beware of Flamingo fans. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna play it, but I'm gonna play it on an alt. Flamingo hate group. Look, I think I have more in common with the people that hate me than the people that like me. Let's take a look at its stats. This game has been favorited 197 times and visited 26,000 times in just a few months which is insane for such a game, and I'm honestly so surprised that it has so many visits. Why is it so popular? It doesn't make any sense. The first reason as to why this game is so popular is simple. Basically, when Flamingo made that video in which he played this game, he boosted its popularity. His angry fans decided to join the game just to dislike it, and maybe say something mean to the creator of the game. It sounds pretty weird, but that is what a lot of people do, and it's honestly not surprising at all. But I mean, if someone created a hate game about my idol, I would be pretty upset as well. The second reason I think is worth mentioning is the fact that there's a lot of people who dislike Flamingo. I know it sounds a little weird, but these people actually play games like this and enjoy them. They just must really dislike him if they go as far as playing these games. Most of them are not even that fun to play. Another reason might surprise a lot of you guys, but it actually seems like this game's fun. Sure, there isn't that much to do, but the things that you can do are just so hilarious. I mean, just take a look at Flamingo's video about it. They killed his pet. The stupid little plushy thing. I'm pushing your, your mom. I am killing your mother. That's what I am doing. This game seems so hilarious, which could be the reason as to why many people play it. Of course, it can get boring after some time, which is why there aren't that many people playing it daily. Usually 1 to 20 people at once. Another reason why this game could be so popular is simply the fact that people are bored and just look for silly games to play on Roblox. After all, Flamingo did that in his video. He played various stupid random games that weren't even that good. Guys, you should make a hate game on te Temple. Oh, look, it's Tempris. He's famous. Tempris should have uh, <coughs> hate games. He, um, when he was in Florida recently, he, uh, he, a fan noticed him by his voice and uh, he punched her, her. You see, a lot of people do that as well, which is why games like this one get so popular. People just play them for jokes and they end up enjoying them and playing them for a little longer than they really planned to. In conclusion, this Flamingo game is definitely interesting. It might seem stupid and boring at first, and while that is a little true, it's definitely not boring, at least not the first few times you play it. This game can be quite fun, and it's really funny to play with friends. After all, games like these are either bad or stupid, or just hilarious to play. What's more is a lot of people just enjoy looking for dumb, pointless games to play. And as previously mentioned, it can be a super fun, silly experience. What do you guys think of this Roblox game? Do you think it's fun? Why or why not? And have you played it yourself? Make sure to let us know exactly what you think in the comments down below. But that's all we have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to hit the like and subscribe button if you did, as well as hitting the notification bell. That way you never miss out on any Roblox content like this and much, much more. 
We'll see you guys next time. And until then, take care and watch the two videos that are on your screen. Bye now.